extreme gratitude to you all. Love and positivity, love and positivity, love, positivity, prosperity, and abundance is what we come to bring to you. This is what I'm all about. Hey Aquarius, welcome to Earth Divine 360. I had began your reading and my camera had died last night, so I'm back again and your cards are still here. I'm just going to show you what we have here on the table and then I'm going to reshuffle and go through it again and see if we get the same reading. But what I was seeing is some of you are going to be making investments financially or investments um, physically in a partnership with someone. Um, you must rely on your intuition when it and listen to your guardian angels and your spirit guides when it comes to making moves with your money. Okay, you have to be excuse me, I'm burping. You have to be strategic. Here is what I'm seeing, Aquarius. Also, I'm also seeing a positive outcome for whatever you're investing your money in. And if you follow your high priestess self here, if you listen to your intuition. You will be rewarded with the sun card, which is just complete happiness. For some of you, this is a pregnancy. For some of you, this is just a really, really, you know, happy time in your life. If you listen, this is a big positive change coming for you. Aquarius is what I'm seeing. It's very positive, but you must stay connected to your spiritual eye. Okay. Your spiritual wisdom, your spiritual self. That's what this is about. Listening to yourself and also connecting with to your divine feminine. Also connecting to your inner child as well. And honoring both parts of yourself right there. Okay. So something is coming. Something you've been waiting for. For some of you, this is a pregnancy. A pregnancy that you have been waiting for is coming. Okay. So if you've been longing for a child, longing for a baby or wanting to adopt, it's coming. Listen, listen to your intuition. There is a rebirth. There is an ending. There is a transformation happening. So things may be feeling kind of weird and strange for you, Aquarius. And that's only because you're going through the um, spiritual awakening. You're coming to a higher level. So things may feel a little off. But what I'm seeing is keep working on whatever you're working on and commit to whatever it is here that you want to invest in. Make sure you commit there because you are going to be helped heavily by your angels and your spirit guides. And if you continue to listen to the spirit first, Aquarius, relying on the spirit first, you're going to have a lot of help. Okay. And you're going to be successful. Keep practicing whatever it is and make sure that you um extend yourself to help with people so help to receive help from others okay help others and receive help from others it goes both ways with this three of pentacles here okay you're going to be receiving help from others and others and you must also extend yourself to help others when you see that you're going to see changes happening in your life you're going to see things moving forward um, if some of you have been wanting to, I feel like this is a, a chariot taking you to the next level where you want to go. And with this next level, this is where your happiness is connected to, especially if it's coming, if it's a baby um, or a relocation, you and your children relocating. If you have children, um, relocating to someplace more warm, a warmer climate where there's more sun um, to be around nature more. So you can connect to your intuition. So you can plant actual seeds and spiritual seeds is what I'm seeing. But you're going to be helped. Um, this is like a shedding time for you, Aquarius, because a lot of stuff is ending and it could be painful, whatever is ending in your life, Aquarius. But you have help here. So don't be afraid to let go of whatever this is, Aquarius. There's something here. I feel like you have a lot of options connected to whatever this thing is. And um, that's why it's hard for you to let things go and release it. But some of these things are illusions and fantasies. And you need to become more practical. Okay, you also need to listen to your intuition. All right. So also with this chariot... This is also, one, you have to work hard to get where you want to go. Two, if you've been thinking about a new car, dreaming about a new car, this, 
This is an indication that yes, some of you are dealing with the Leo. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus. Some of you are dealing with the Cancer, Capricorn, and a Scorpio, okay? Pisces energy as well. Okay, so these illusions. For some of you, you may you may be dreaming about getting married. For some of you, you may feel like this is a time where you actually want to settle down with someone. You want to have a happy family or you want to move closer to your family or you want to help a family member or you want to be... Um, closer to people that feel like family because it keeps you grounded something like that okay um, some of you you're gonna receive good news here either somebody I'm seeing somebody is um, going to tell you how much they love you how much they want to have a relationship long-term marriage with you they want to have a family with you or they want to reconnect with you Okay, this could be this could be somebody you were dreaming about or somebody you were actually trying to let go of. But I feel like whoever this person is, they're going to help you on the next level wherever you're going in life. Okay, you have a partnership here with this person. Um, there is definitely a possibility of having a child with this person, whoever this person is. Either this person is good with kids, already has kids, something like that. But somebody here loves children. Either you work with children, something of that nature. Children are heavily involved in this situation right here. Um, yes. But you see this person as the empress here. There is a lot of blessings here in this connection with whoever this person is. I feel like the both of you have been through some pain and kind of been apprehensive when it comes to relationships or um, just, you know, going through all of this again is what I'm feeling. Um, you've been you've been through it. You've been through the narcissism. You've been through the pain, the chaos, the trauma, the sorrow, the confusion, being alienated, not feeling loved, okay? You've been through all of that. And at this time, it's like, I'm not sure if I could deal with that again with this Four of Cups. But Spirit is saying, take this connection because you have a connection here with someone. Take this connection, take this offer. Listen to your intuition. What is your intuition telling you about this person? I'm also getting, spend time to, to assess and analyze the things that you have been through okay and really let it go all right let it go um outpour these emotions that some of you may be still holding on to some of this stuff you're holding on to it and that could be blocking you in this really big blessing that you have right here because it's like you have a huge blessing aquarius but then you have some pain and chaos around this blessing and it's making you apprehensive to the new opportunity that's there for you because there is somebody who has a crush on you there's somebody who really likes you there's somebody who sees long term with you there's someone who wants to pour love into you not only is the divine pouring love into you the universe is pouring love into you because the universe wants to for some of you the universe wants you to become a mother or become a father the universe wants you to experience that okay there are children that need to be birthed this is like universal is what i'm seeing especially here with this sun card so i'm seeing you know there, there's a universal contract aquarius that you have and these children need to come into this realm okay and so by you being here and stuck in pain and confusion you're blocking this blessing this really 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 good thing from coming to you that's what i'm seeing um for others of you this is um financial this is business opportunities okay this is enjoying life this is making new connections with people not being stagnant not being stuck not being afraid to connect not being afraid to open up and show your true self aquarius there's people that you need to, to meet because they're going to help further your career and where you're going and your success in life. And they're going to open up doors for blessings for you, Aquarius. But you have to get through this kind of thinking right here. I'm not good enough. Okay. Uh, I can't do that. Mm, when I did that last time, or I tried that last time, it didn't work for me. 
I regret being here this long with this person. I regret listening to this person. All this regret and stuff, you have to get out of the past and you have to move forward. And I'm seeing replanting your roots, Aquarius, and trying something new. I'm seeing that you're gonna be recognized. If you're patient with yourself, not only just you being patient with yourself, there is somebody else who is definitely patient with you. You have a lot of yeses here on this table, Aquarius, meaning the door is open for you. There is no blockage. The only blockage is you, okay? And that's if you continue to hold on to the past and hold on to the pain. But if you can move forward from this pain and move forward from the past, there's a lot of blessings for you, Aquarius. Um, make sure you finish what you start so you can have this. So when you do invest, Make sure you are the Knight of Pentacles, tending to whatever it is that you started. If you say that you want something, Aquarius, continue to till your grass. Continue to water your garden, okay? Continue to take care of the things you said that you wanted to take care of, things that you said that you wanted. Protect what you have, Aquarius. Protect yourself also. You're going to have success. Okay, with the six of wands, I'm seeing success. Some of you dealing with the Capricorn, a Leo and a Taurus and a Pisces, Scorpio energy, Libra energy here too. I'm seeing whatever it is that you want, you're going to be recognized for it. Like people are going to know who you are, Aquarius. Okay, there's an achievement here for you. If you follow everything that's being said to you, if you receive the help, if you let go of the pain, if you let go of the illusion, okay? And if you ground yourself, what I'm seeing is you really need to ground yourself and there's a choice that you need to make, especially when it comes to love and a marriage, okay? There's a marriage and there is a relationship here and there, there's a, probably a new relationship here starting over. That's why you have this four of cups and that's why you kind of don't want to do it. But you must do it, Aquarius, because when you make this shift and this change, it changes your life. I don't know how else to say it. It's just going to change your life for what you what you want, what you've been envisioning for yourself, Aquarius. It's going to put you right there. You know what I mean? It's going to put you where you want to be, but I feel like you're a little scared, okay? I feel like you're afraid, Aquarius. Maybe you're afraid that you're going to lose, okay? You're afraid that you're going to lose. You're afraid that you're afraid of conflict, all right? And you could be all in your head, very mental with this, okay? And you could keep, be keeping a lot of thoughts to yourself. I feel like even some of you might be talking yourself out of something. You're talking yourself out of the things that you want. You're talking yourself out of it, Aquarius. Any more five of swords, please, for Aquarius. Or maybe the environment you're in is not beneficial for you. There could be a lot of old stagnant energy within this environment. Maybe it's your workplace or maybe this is your home, but this is what's pre uh, preventing you. But karma is going to be served is what I'm seeing. There was a, a lesson here that you had to learn. Okay. And understand what you put out is what you get back. So you can't be here in this four of cups energy afraid to... Put yourself out there like I was saying, okay? You have to be in this death card, let things go, and you have to open yourself up because if you're closed off, Aquarius, the universe is going to be closed right back to you. It's not going to give you and serve you the things that you want. Anything else for Aquarius? I think it's funny how your card jumped. Okay, I think you need to face your emotions and you need to stand your ground on what you believe. You need to stay in your spirituality, okay? 
It says, the universe shows me that I can have faith in my dreams. And this is your dream right here. But your dream is also an illusion because you have heartbreak around this. So whatever you thought life was going to be is not going to be that Aquarius. And that's why I said you have to be realistic with your dream. If somebody is not on the same frequency as you, Aquarius, the dream will never work because they're not there energetically. So you have to take that into consideration. But that doesn't mean what you want is not achievable with a different person. As hard as that is to accept, Aquarius, that is what this reading is looking like to me. Um, and that's not easy for me to accept either because it's like, oh my God, you know, but we have to come to terms and accept life. And if we get stagnant and stuck with life, I'm telling you, life moves so quickly. We are aging every single day. That is just the reality of life and this planet. And we don't have time to waste with someone who's not on our energetic field or energetic plane you have to move forward if it's a job if it's a person you have to move forward okay and i feel like you need to get in touch with what you feel okay also spending time around family might help you or moving closer to family whatever this is i'm seeing with family or starting a family all right fixing a family something here like that aquarius but you need to stand your ground on what you believe. I'm getting an energy like don't settle. You've been settling and that's why things have been subpar for you. Aquarius, there's something way bigger. Like what you envision you can actually have. But it just not be in this state that you're living in. Wherever you live, it might not be there. You might have to do a relocation here. Um... It might not be with this job. You might have to transfer jobs or go into a different field. Okay. What I see is working with children. So a lot of you need to be working with children. As um, an Aquarius, as a humanitarian, you need to be working with people. Also, if you look where your 10th house is and your north node is, that will show you what you need to be doing in this life. If you need help with that, don't be afraid to DM me on Instagram at earth underscore divine and I could gladly help you with that. You're looking into your 6th house, your 10th your house, your north node, um, and your midheaven which would be your north, um, your 10th house. You're also looking into your IC. Okay, so let's see what we have further for Aquarius. Let's see what we have going on for you. So let's see what we have for Aquarius spirit. Aquarius. You're a leader, Aquarius. So it's time to lead your life. Like I said, no more waiting, Aquarius. Don't wait for anyone. You are the leader. And be proudful. Okay, have pride, lead with pride because you know where you're going. You have the vision. Okay, you have the, the vision. <clears throat> Look, follow your dreams. Number 85, you have number 81 and 85. Okay, follow your dreams, Aquarius. And it all begins with self love, loving yourself and putting yourself first. And that goes back to the high priestess within that is self love, that is the higher self. That is the higher God consciousness, okay? That is within all of us. Anything else for Aquarius spirit? Aquarius. So what I'm seeing is you have completed a cycle. There's change. Either... You have completed the cycle. You have learned a lesson, okay? And there's a change coming. Change in a relationship, change in a job. <clears throat> Maybe change in the way you speak. Maybe you're saying less now, Aquarius. Because <clears throat> my throat is like acting up. So maybe um, you stop speaking to a person or you stop voicing your opinion to someone about somebody changing, okay? And that's why you have a completion of a cycle. So now that this cycle is over, you have learned a lesson, Aquarius. Now this change, number five, can finally take place. For some of you, nine, 
you're having a baby or you're going to become pregnant or your manifestations are coming true. Whatever it is that you've been trying to manifest is now here because you have you 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 were a leader number 1 you followed your dreams okay because you have done this and you didn't sit back and wait for somebody else to do it for you Aquarius because you have done this you have ended this cycle you have completed this that's why you have this death card here because it's over whatever it is is over okay it is done and now you have this change here because whatever it is you've been manifesting and you want it to come is here now. That, that's how I'm seeing this reading is here, Aquarius. Oh my God. It's here. All right. It's here. It is here. So I'm going to take one, a couple of cards from here. When it comes to the love life of Aquarius, right? What is going on, spirit? We see a lot of love in the air for them, but what's going on, Spirit, when it comes to Aquarius and Aquarius placements? 11th house placements. What do we have for Aquarius? Vulnerability. Exactly what I was saying. Acknowledging what you were feeling. Children. So, like I said, children are... Children are important to this partnership. Either you work with children or somebody has children. Somebody might have a lot of children. Okay. Somebody might have seven children here. I don't know. That number just popped out to me. Okay. Vulnerability. You can be completely open with this person. So there's somebody that you could be open with. Oh my gosh. Look, look, look. This is a divine counterpart connection. This is your twin flame. Your twin flame Aquarius. And this is because you manifested this you already know the answer you seek Aquarius so some of you might be like have I met my twin flame maybe you have listen to your intuition okay yep listen to your intuition time apart some distance will help bring clarity so some of you don't live near this person you might live two different counties, two different states, two different countries. Okay, you don't live near this person, but you might find that you have a connection with somebody, Aquarius. Okay, some of you are working too much on your phone too much. It's time to unplug and release. Okay, and think about the lessons that you have learned, Aquarius. All right, that's what that's what the spirit is asking you to do. Spend time with yourself. Get to know you, Aquarius, all right? Stay off your device. All right. Let's see. Aquarius. 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 So somebody could have been very immature that you were dealing with, and that's why things didn't work out. It says you and I were too young, all right? Or it could just be the maturity level. Somebody was not mature in a situation. Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay, let's see. My life is not as together as it seems. So somebody could be in the chaos, like I said. Maybe you were in the chaos with this person. And that's why things didn't work out. They also feel like you're leaving them behind. Like I said, you're on two different levels. All right. But you have a twin flame here. So that's why you need to let this go. Because you do have a twin flame here. And this twin flame relationship is going to push you forward. And elevate you. And help you mature and grow in ways that you didn't think was possible. Okay. See, when we get stagnant in life, we don't grow. Okay, so finding out the truth crushed me. So somebody knows that you're moving forward. Somebody knows that they're not on your level. And this may be hurting them, right? But what can you do? When people don't grow together, somebody outgrows the other. And that's just what it is. They still love you, okay? They wish they have treated you better, Aquarius. They still love you. They probably will always love you. You are an Aquarius, okay? That's just how it goes with an Aquarius, okay? You'll always love an Aquarius, period. 
It's just who you are as a person. We're great people. What can I say? So they're recovering. So they're healing. This person may have been dealing with a lot of trauma, a lot of baggage, just a lot of stuff. But they are inspired by you, Aquarius. They might not tell you that. I hide my feelings, but you inspire me. They might not tell you. There's a lot of stuff that they're not telling you. And maybe that's why you hold on to this dream with this person. And mm -hmm.